So, can anyone here design and build a UAV that's capable of delivering a care package? We've got one up there. Oh, cool. Well, why don't you come down here and explain to us? That'd be great. Um, yeah, so I suppose, you know, who can design a, you know, a UAV that can deliver a care package to someone lost in the outback? Well, I know two people right here who can. Us. But, you know, that's all well and good. But, you know, who are we? So, I'm Damien. I'm a Year 12 student at Dixon College. I study many things at Dixon College, but uh, my you know, field of interest particularly is information technology. I, I like, you know, more specifically, just user interfaces and application design. I'm Michael Engerman. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm also at Dixon College in Year 12, and I'm also a major IT guy. Um, I'm different from Damien, though. I like the hardware more than the software, um, but I have learned a few programming languages along the way. So me and him, obviously, we're just ordinary students, of course. We both got, you know, part-time jobs, both love playing computer games. I drive around in a souped-up car, pea plates, of course. The thing that makes us very different from everyone else in our school, and they're all around Australia, is we're part of the UAV Outback Challenge. Well, what is this UAV Outback Challenge you speak of? Well, <laughs> basically, the UAV Outback Challenge, it's, it's a competition that's held once a year um, and it's in Outback Queensland. Um, we're actually leaving tomorrow for the competition. And basically what we have to do is we have to design and build an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, like the one that you see here. And what it has to do is it has to deliver a care package to a lost traveller stranded in the Outback. Um, oh. I'll go ahead. <laughs> so, yep. you know, we, um, we've learned a lot from this program so far. Like, in me in particular, I'll talk about my story. Um, I went from not knowing how to solder two wires together, um, it was quite a big challenge to begin with, to now being able to put together a um, bit of electronics that can basically autonomously drop a care package to this survivor. So I can do that now, which is brilliant. That's not the only thing, though. We've been able to learn networking skills, such as be here today and talk to you, all of you, and you guys are all in our faces now. But not only that, we've gone to some huge IT companies, talked to CEOs, talked to desk jockeys, you know, talked to everyone, and really learned from them as well as ourselves. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. Um, I think one of the really great things about a project like this one, especially in a public school, is the way that kind of everyone can kind of tr contribute in their own way to the project. I mean, on one hand, we've got media students making promotions and docu getting documentary footage and making advertisements for the program and getting awareness out there for it. And on the other hand, we've got, you know, the maths and physics kids working on the you know, the hardcore technical stuff and the algorithms to make sure that when this UAV is where it is, it knows, you know, when to drop the care package and that kind of stuff. And then we've got, you know, programmers and business people just kind of all contributing in their own way to the project, to this bigger kind of more converged and collaborate, collaborative effort. So it's been great working in a team. We've been learning skills that will help us forever. I'm looking to go into this industry because it's been amazing. And some of the things we've learned, we've learned the, um, basically the process we have to go through to get through everything. You know, you start off with a design stage, uh, better design stage. Yeah. <laughs> you then go on to, you know, the prototyping, making things that work, having lots of wires hanging around everywhere, until you finally get to the finished product, as you can see next to us. Um, unfortunately, this one's not coming with us. We have three that we're taking up to Queensland tomorrow. Had to be in packaging, of course. Sorry about that one. Yeah. Um, but, like, the whole thing here, it's given us a huge opportunity to learn. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. Um, I think... <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, we've learned a lot. Um, you know, as with every great project, I mean, it hasn't been without its, you know, crashes and software failures, but I think one of the great things that we've all learned, which is, you know, something that we all, you know, need to learn in real life is that, you know, not everything goes as expected and there's always failures, but what's really important is that we learn from our mistakes and get better every time and find more efficient and more effective ways to, to do everything. I think that's really important. And one of the great things about this project is the kind of real world kind of applicable skills that we're getting from this project that normal classes don't usually teach us, which is, which is really great. We all have something to kind of walk away from at the end. It's been brilliant, you know, like all these crashes. Every time we crash, we get better at rebuilding. Every time we destroy half of our technology or solder too hard, you know, we have to learn and get quicker and faster at putting it all together. We crashed one a couple of weeks ago, and that was a bit of a bugger because now we have to rebuild it very, very quickly. <laughs> Two weeks deadline. It's um, teaching us how to be real. But we have a new plane, bigger and better, 
Um, from there on, you know, working on the planes, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I'll leave Davian with the last finals goodbye. Oh, zero seconds left. Um, cool. <laughs> If you ever see a project like this, just get out there and do it because everyone can contribute and you, know, you don't know what you'll learn and everyone can kind of you know, come together. Put it's apart. Really great. Get involved. The teachers have, we have, people in the, the systems that we've been working with, they have, they've been behind us. So find <laughs> these projects, get involved, be behind them. Thank you very much.